of the flight. Look out. Yeah. I'm here, I mean business. And bear in mind, this guy is Masters 1, and Masters 1 by some considerable distance as well. Yep, he was born in 1974, a very good year, <laughs> I must say. I just about remember it. Okay, Yaroslav, what have you got? He's got depth. He's got strength. Well, it was a bit slower than I was expecting, but it was clean all the way through. We're just waiting for one of the votes. Here we are. Yeah, so, you know, he's added 15 kilos to it, which is a, a pretty normal sort of jump in his books. I'll tell you something. If you were contract, you'd be looking at him the and going, will you go and compete Yaroslav in the Masters, Oleg, please? <laughs> But if you can lift this much in your weight class, why would you move into the Masters? 47 years of age. Now the World Open record and the World Masters one is 370. Is that his? I believe they are both his. Oof. Looking pretty strong. At both in age and in accomplishments by the look of things. 360 on the bar, the bar well within reach. His previous two lists moved really well. Jaroslav Olek of Poland. And I tell you folks, a lot of that noise that you can hear is coming from the, uh, the Norwegian audience. Powerlifting is unique in that everyone will support everyone. You very, very rarely get that partisanship that you see in other sports. Oh, it's oh. just a bit too much today. He's going to have to be happy with just 350. He's going to play to his strengths. Yeah. You know, squat was one of those strengths. He's going to get as big a number on the board as he can for this competition in squat. Yeah, he just doesn't want to lose too much of that lead, really. Yeah, and right here, his aim is to just... Put the kilos on that you can, keep in touch, and then work on that deadlift. If you're wondering why we've got those white lights, that is because it helps the uh, the jury and the referees see if there is a change of elected position, i.e. if the buck comes off the bench. Well, he was a bit twisted around, a bit crooked there, but everything moved. I'm going to add a few kilos where I can on the bench, and then when I get to the deadlift, I'm going to look for my road home. Yeah, let everybody else go for uh, bench heroics. I'm all about the total. You know, it's a big choice here. I mean, you can you can try and put some extra kilos on, but you risk not adding anything to your total. Yeah, safe game. If this is not your main lift, then just play it real safe. Uh, oh. Good speed off the chest there. That was very, very close. Just a small little jump. Yeah. He is just chipping away. He knows this is not his biggest strength. And I'll tell you something. That 202.5, not a massive number, but that will place him fifth. That is in the top, you know, 50%, the, the top half of the bench press, even though this is a man who were going, well, you know, he's playing a, playing a long game and that kind of thing. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's worked it well. Yeah. I think it's good. Let's see what the referee says. And the World Masters 1 total record. He's it 47 years old. He is a seasoned campaigner. But he has got his work cut out for him today. He has. Well, it's all about getting this first one in and then uh, working out what you can do from there. Didn't see an issue there, really. Good lift. Yep. Before. But this is about saving some energy for that last lift. You know, if I've got to pull for a gold medal or whatever I have to do, I've got some energy left. You could go out a bit harder on the second, but then you've got the nothing left in that third one. Yeah. yeah. And it's the third one where you can make the adjustments, where you can change it twice. You know, this that's where you want, you want to, to be have hanging on to a little bit for that last one. In your one. back pocket, isn't it? You don't want to burn all your matches. No, that's right. This one's about putting himself in the position to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it didn't look much different than it his didn't first. And he put on a placeholder here, but then he risked lifting something that he wasn't prepared to lift. Yeah. You can adjust, uh, you can make adjustments twice to your final deadlift, but the bar cannot go down. So and you also can't make a change that would adjust the order of lifting. So lot number plays a part. So he's added 15 kilos to his second. And he's banking on the fact that that's going to be hopefully enough. And oh, no. he just doesn't want to move. That's a shame. 